polymers are found in nature. Spider silk is one of the strongest of the natural polymers. Chemists have always sought to duplicate what is found in nature, and especially in this process called polymerization. An example of that would be to take these paper clips and allow each one to represent a molecule called a monomer. We can then link these monomers together in a chain to form what is called a polymer. We can see that process happening if we take these paper clips and gradually add them to our reaction vessel, this box. Closing the vessel and carrying out the chemical reaction, usually with the aid of a catalyst, we can then remove the polymer, a synthetic fiber. But what you're interested in seeing would be the real chemistry. And one of the most useful of the polymers today that we find is nylon. Here to this chemical, we're adding a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator. It's basic, and therefore, the color will allow you to see this layer. We're going to pour in a second layer of another chemical. The two chemicals form two separate layers. If we reach in to the interface of those two layers, where the molecules come together and react, we can pull out a synthetic fiber. This synthetic fiber, slightly colored by the phenolphthalein, is nylon. An application of polymerization can even be found in the toy store in the form of string confetti.